101 Things to Do, the most widely read travel magazine in the United States, invites you to take a tour of the beautiful and historic Victorian village of Ferndale, California. Just 15 miles south of Eureka, California, on Highway 101, you turn onto the historic Fern Bridge for a short five-mile drive to this charming one-of-a-kind community. As you roll along past green farmland and barns, you begin to notice stately farmhouses, which is only a hint of what lies in store. Discovered in 1852 by brothers Seth and Stephen Shaw, the brothers cleared a few acres the first year, built a road from the river, and erected a cabin by wintertime. In the spring, word had gotten out, and more settlers started arriving. Once the land was cleared, the natural pastures were ideal for dairy farming or cattle raising, and that's where the area's real bread and butter began to flow. In 1854, Seth Shaw built the first large house in the area, following the Victorian design so popular in San Francisco. He named his home Ferndale, and after becoming the post office some years later, the new settlement adopted the name permanently. A drive down Ferndale's main street is like a trip back in time to a bygone era. The Victorian gingerbread architecture begged you to park your car or RV and explore this beautiful town on foot. Have your camera ready because there are photo ops at every turn. Ferndale had become a major California shipping port. Just five miles from the coast, you can still drive out the old road through farmland to the beach and even discover parts of California's Lost Coast. Downtown Ferndale offers the visitor a wide variety of shops, galleries, and restaurants. A must-see is the Blacksmith Shop, located at 455 Main Street. Owner, blacksmith, and artisan Joe Coaches fires up his Ford seven days a week, creating things out of metal that you have never seen before. Just down the street is Joe's Gallery, with a wide variety of Joe's more artistic work. Religion has always played a large part in this community, and five churches built before the turn of the century are still standing today and dot the skyline of the town. A walk through Ferndale cemeteries gives you a more personal touch with the past. Some graves date back to the Civil War or before. If you're looking for that perfect picture, just one block off of Main Street is the Gingerbread Mansion, Bed and Breakfast, one of the most widely photographed houses in the world. Located to 400 Birding Street, the Gingerbread Mansion with its spindlework gables, turrets, and formal English garden invites you in to turn of the century opulence. There are 11 large suites and guest rooms, each one elegantly appointed with Victorian antiques. Some come with their own clawfoot bathtub. Ferndale is also home of the Humboldt County Fair, which runs in August. This is the largest county fair in Northern California and offers daily horse racing, along with all of your favorite fair activities. Back on Main Street, Ferndale, visit the unique gazebo for great gift ideas, hats, jewelry, scarves, collectibles, and more. The gazebo is one of the finest examples of gingerbread architecture on Main Street. Ferndale is also home of the world-famous Kinetic Sculpture Race. Started back in 1969 by artist and founder Hobart Brown and still held on Memorial Day weekend, the race continues to gain worldwide attention. For a true sense of life at the turn of the century, a stop into the General Mercantile on Main Street will show you what shopping was like in Ferndale 100 years ago. A trip upstairs in the Mercantile offers a look into the past with a collection that rivals most museums. But to find the true history of Ferndale, a must is a visit to the Ferndale Museum. The museum, open February through December, tells the history of Ferndale in unique diorama settings with authentic clothing and furnishings from many of the families who still live in the area. A trip into the barn gives you a look into Ferndale's historic farming past. The museum is also home to the oldest seismograph on the West Coast and still working today, so be sure to check for earthquakes. 
Ferndale has been featured in a number of famous movies, like The Majestic, starring Jim Carrey, and Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman. And locals will be glad to show you locations. If you're in town for a day or a week, stop into Paracel Arts, where visitors and locals alike can create their own one-of-a-kind pottery to take home. Brad Curtis, the owner, may even tinkle the ivories of his classic piano for you while you stroll next door for an ice cream at their newly opened sweet shop. The holidays bring a special magic to Ferndale. The lighting of America's tallest living Christmas tree caps a year of activities. But this is not a movie set or some fairy tale town. Stroll the streets, take pictures, or stay overnight. Your visit is one you won't forget to the beautiful and historic Victorian village of Ferndale, California. Just another of 101 things to do.